Joey came into Michaela's life and picked her up for the first date, she came down the stairs with a literal piece of toast in her hand. He took her to get ice cream from Baskin and Robbins, which then I later found out he took her to the farthest Baskin and Robbins in Topeka, rather than the one that was probably five minutes from our house. But really, Joey was just trying to get some extra time with this girl that he had a really big crush on. With you, I'll grow With you through the summer and the winter's cold You have the hands that I want to hold And I'm not letting go Oh my god! Oh my god. You did good, Joey! Oh my gosh. I can just picture you, dude. What color am I wearing? I said white, but like, it'd be a surprise if it was dusty blue. <laughs> Dear Mick, today is the day I always knew would happen. It was never a matter of if, but of when this day would happen. For anyone that has ever been blessed with the presence of Michaela, and agree that she is one of the most beautiful people inside and out. Our friendship can be described in Proverbs 17, 17, which you know says, a friend loves at all times, but a brother is born for adversity. And when adversity is hit, let me tell you, Joey's definitely been there for me, and I really appreciate that. Dear Joey, we have gone through so much, and you have been my rock through these past four years. Our love is easy, natural, and effortless. We fit together perfectly, and I can truly be who I am with you. Won't you close to me, close to me? Close to me, oh, close to me. This union. Um, I pray that as they walk from this day, that it would be a time that they would see how they can glorify you and who they are and what they are and in their family. And if you bless them with kids, that they would raise those kids and the admonition of who you are. Again, we just celebrate today with them. What great two hearts that you have brought together to be one. Looking to heaven for divine sanction, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. for a better man for my best friend to marry and spend the rest of her life with. You two are going to make a beautiful marriage together full of laughter, traveling, <laughs> coffee dates, definitely brunch dates and farm market dates, and eventually a life with little use running around. You've been through a lot. You've been through a lot more than a lot of people would have to at your age. And the way you view life and the way that you're live your life really is inspiring at times because not only is it an excellent trait to have because it not only improves your own life but you also improve the lives of others around you with the way that you live. It is my privilege to present to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Holly. Today our forever officially starts. We have the best little family with us and the boys, and I know with you I have everything I need. You keep me calm when I'm anxious and you bring out the best in me, even when the best is really hard to find. It's your strong determination, support for my goals, and willingness to be yourself that has made me love you from the very beginning. You inspire me to be a better person, achieve my goals, and make decisions that better us and our future in our family. That day four years ago, going to Baskin Robbins in the sketchiest part of Topeka, after my bio lab class was the best decision I've ever made. We're each other's home, and as long as we have each other, we have everything we need. I love you forever, and I can't wait to be the Hollies. Weddings, man. 
You know, the Oxford Dictionary describes a wedding as, quote, the fusing of two metals using a torch. Oh, shit, that's welding. It's like I'm never coming down. No, no. Joey, please no, place your no. hand on top of Michaela's. Now look at each other. Best. Joey, I want you to remember this moment. This is going to be the last time that you ever have the upper hand in the relationship. Let's raise a glass to the happy couple. Ready to flip something in the jungle. Gonna be the best.